So that's one of the answers. Good morning, everyone. Morning. We are now going to Kennedy Space Center. So we are here in Florida, and this is a mile. Turn right onto Columbia Boulevard. And this is a, this is a great day for us to go to Kennedy Center because the weather now is really nice, perfect weather. Hey, we're gonna tour you later, guys. See you. I want to see the Saturn Five rocket. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Open till six. No, there's no gator. They're there. They're there. JF Kennedy Space Center, originally known as NASA Launch Operations Center, it is one of ten NASA's field centers. We paid $10 for the parking fee plus $57 for admission ticket per person. You see that engine right there that's just yeah. sitting by itself? That's one of the engines that would have been on the bottom of this thing. Yeah. See how big it is? We learned the history of early rocket science at the Rocket Garden, featuring a Mercury Redstone 3 rocket along with many others. The bus tour was a fantastic experience. We got to see a lot of alligators on the water and also the bald eagle and its nest. We saw Elon Musk's SpaceX building and the crawler launch pads and also we saw the iconic vehicle assembly building up close. This is the Moon Tree Garden. The garden surrounds a one-of-a-kind bronze statue of Apollo 11 astronauts, Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins. It also showcases the incredible achievement of humankind in the moon. We experienced the countdown for Apollo 8 facing the actual consoles used during the Apollo launches. Hey there, astronaut. What are you doing? I'm not an astronaut. You're not an astronaut? Okay, what do we got behind you here? The space rocket. The Saturn V Saturn rocket? V, yeah. Okay, let's walk it all the way down it. Okay, I'm going to follow you. So what do you think about the Saturn V rocket? Um, it's pretty huge. Pretty like, huge, right? Yeah. So this is the largest rocket that was ever produced, right? Yeah. And this is what brought all the uh, guys to the moon. That's right. That's right. So here it is. So Lorraine, so that was the back of the second stage, right? Yeah. That was the back of the second stage. And this thing is huge, everybody. Oh, you got a free, free sunglasses. Free sunglasses for somebody. Free sunglasses. <laughs> All right, so it's the real deal. It's an actual rocket that took them to the moon. This would have been the next one they would have used if there had been another Apollo mission. Yeah. And we're getting to the back of it where the big giant rockets are. Look at this. Incredible. Ladies. All right. What do you think, Lorraine? It's so cool to okay, see Okay, you ready to see this? Watch this, everybody. We'll begin in three minutes. If you would like to join us, please proceed to the nose end of the Saturn V rocket. You guys are crazy. crazy. Look at the size of these things. That is unbelievable, don't you think? Impressed? Impressed. Okay, and then we got a... An actual service in Lunar Lover.
the Apollo Center, we walked beneath a real Saturn V rocket, the type of rocket that launched humans to the moon. This is so amazing. Look at the size of this giant rocket and the complexity of the largest rocket ever flown through space. It is 363 feet or 1111 meters long, 60 feet or 18 meters taller than the Statue of Liberty. Although a total of 13 Saturn V rockets were launched between 1967 and 1972, this is one of the only three remaining in the United States. Okay, you guys ready to see something really exciting? Okay. So the entire reason I came to the Kennedy Space Center, amongst other things, I wanted to see a lot of really cool stuff and everything else, including the Saturn V rocket. Okay. But the real main reason I wanted to come here was to see a see command module for Apollo 14. So we're about to go see it. Come on, follow okay. me. Follow you. There's a real space suit. I'm gonna be quiet now because people are in there. But we're about to see Apollo 14's command module, the actual one. The real reason I came. The items found in this gallery are rare and precious. Medals, prototypes, and training gear tell the story of astronauts bound for the moon in this Smithsonian affiliated exhibit. From Alan Shepard's moon dust covered spacesuit, to Apollo 14 crew capsule, you will see authentic artifacts of the Apollo moon missions in this gallery. Welcome to Space Shuttle Atlantis. At the entrance, you will see a mighty full-scale Space Shuttle stack of two solid rocket boosters and orange external tank. And also at the inside, you will see Atlantis is displayed, rotated in 43.21 degrees with payload doors open and Canada arm extended as if it just undocked from the International Space Station. You will also see a full-scale replica of Hubble Space Telescope inside the Space Shuttle Atlantis attraction. It is the size of a school bus. HST is one of NASA's great observatories for space-based astronomical telescopes. Yeah. 
Okay, everybody, we are going home. We had a fun time, yeah. Bye, NASA. Bye, JF Kennedy Space Center. We're going back to mom's house. We came here around 10:30 a.m. and it's almost 5, uh, 4:30 in the afternoon. So we're going back to mom's house. So it's going to be like two-hour drive here from JF Kennedy to mom's house. And then after that, we're going back to Colorado. So I hope you enjoy this video, guys.